Captain Sheldon Dogan. The unveil of fire compiles to this game, Heyman Maxman and Stephen McClam. Third umpire doing the toss, Christopher Leonard. And we are about to have the toss, Ian Isaac at the fight. Well, this is the call call. Numbers. Numbers. So Ian Isaac has won the toss. Ian, what are you going to do? Why is that so? We had a good game yesterday, a good couple of games yesterday. You want to continue with that momentum? Yeah, sure. The fellas have a good vibe. Both teams, all the best. The better team come out on top. Nice. Great game. Versus Southeast, the grand final of the Caribbean Airlines C10 British Cricket Tournament. A very good afternoon to one and all as we welcome you here to the National Cricket Center in Balmain, Cuba, where we have the grand finale. This, of course, is the inaugural Caribbean culture, Caribbean Airlines Village T10 finals. It's really the first tournament of its kind that they're staging, and those are some of the principles involved in putting it together, including some of the players uh, from the respective teams. So as we greet you here from a bright, sunny uh, National Cricket Center here in Kuva. The idea, of course, it's 10 overs aside, and uh, which team scores the most runs will win. It's as simple as that. I'm Ruskin Mark working along with Visham Lalman. Visham, as I say, good afternoon to you again. There is confirmation. It's the Caribbean culture, Caribbean village T10 cricket tournament. Yeah, good afternoon, Ruskin. Good afternoon to everyone looking on. And yeah, it's a momentous occasion. It's the first of its kind, the, this tournament, the T10 tournament, hosted by Caribbean Airlines. And, of course, giving persons within their community who may not have had the opportunity uh, like this to, you know, get it now. And, of course, it's the final Southeast coming up against North. I think we're in for a mouth-watering clash, Ruskin. It should be very interesting. We have some notables. Of course, Kian Isaac uh, is probably the most... Uh, prominent of all the captain for the North team. And then South will counter, of course, with a, with a name that we've seen coming up so much, Aidan Ratcher. Uh, we've seen him in secondary schools cricket doing an amazing job. And I'm sure uh, we'll be looking forward to that. Happy Easter to one and all. And it's Easter Sunday. And I just love those two rabbits there. They're just cuddling. And uh, having a good time. It's all part of what's on offer at Caribbean Airlines. And uh, no doubt they're spreading their wings here a little bit. We, we tend to associate Caribbean Airlines more so with culture. But here they are now in the sporting arena and with the sport of cricket as well. North in the blue, of course, Southeast are in the field. North won the toss and will bat. And uh, they are, of course... Uh, maybe we'll start a slight favourite, I'm not quite sure, but uh, they've been putting up some decent scores, so we wait to see um, how they hold up in this one, Visham. Yes, yeah, certainly. Looking at that South East team, uh, some notable youngsters in the team. Of course, you would have mentioned Adrian Racha. I also have seen Brendan Buru, San Charles, mm -hmm. and guys who would have graduated from the under-15 level. Of course, they would have participated, and that's Budu and Charles, in that uh, under-15 tournament, West Indies under-15 tournament, that they trailed on to be good of one. And uh, it's good to see that as well, involving the youngsters, or skill. It is, and every opportunity you get to expose some of these youngsters has to be a good thing, and uh, because uh, that's what we complain about so much, our young, our youth don't get to play. Uh, enough cricket. So when you, you get an opportunity to give them some exposure, all you ask them to do is to take advantage of the opportunity. And uh, so hopefully they will get to show their wares and uh, 
you never know. So one of them might actually be the stars of today's finals because the only way you could excel in it is if you're in it and you're playing in it. So uh, and that's the first thing. So they've done the first part. Now it's just for them to go out there and uh, execute. So we are getting ready for the first bit of action. Our two umpires, of course, uh, Stephen Lachman, Lachram and uh, uh, Heyman Lachman. Um, two L's. Uh, just to confuse proceedings <laughs> here today. And uh, as we get ready, I'm... I'm As we see, young Racha is getting ready to start the attack from that top end. Looking very resplendent and very colorful as well. True Caribbean colors. Here, Clifton Halls and uh, Kenway Williams. And it is Williams who is taking first strike from Racha. And uh, the first delivery is right on target. Good way to start. Yeah, that's what you're going to get for Racha. Of course, he would have been playing a lot of uh, limited overs cricket, but not so much T10 cricket. And it'll be interesting to see how he adapts to this version, this format of the game. The young man. You know, it's a, it's a total a different animal when you play T10. Uh, because there are some cricketers, I firmly believe, who are just built for this type of stuff. Their whole mindset is about scoring runs. The next delivery is another lifter. Thought there might have been a single there, but somehow Halls wasn't too interested. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like the whole build. Some players are just built. They're just wired that way. Yeah, definitely so. And uh, as you mentioned, that last delivery from Racha climbing on uh, Williams uh, didn't seem to be too comfortable with it. Uh, but in, in the T10 game, it's really about scoring runs. So you want to uh, target, uh, you know, see if you could get to 100 and beyond, if possible. I suppose that would be in the best of times. It's not always possible, but if not, you want to get as close to it as possible. He goes for a little walk down the wicket. They're going to appeal. This could be a run out. In fact, both batsmen end up at the same crease. And just like that, without a run on the board, Halls, Clifton Halls, will have to go run out. And Racha, who bowled a good delivery down the wicket, came Williams. He was actually walking. Look at him walking into that one. Big appeal. He could have been out LBW, but he was so far down, the umpire probably made the right decision. And then both batsmen just kind of stood there, eyeballing each other. And Racha had the simple task. He didn't even need to throw it. He just ran up to a kid and uh, removed him. What a way to be dismissed without a run on the board. Well, I don't think there was a run there on at all. Uh, Clifton Halls was uh, just running his way down to the striker's end. And Kenroy Williams, he was, of course, in that process of getting out of the appeal from the umpire after he was struck on the pad. <laughs> and in the end, uh, Halls has to go. So that's a, a big wicket to start here for Southeast and a welcome one as well. In the very first over of this final. Not what the doctor ordered for the North team. Richard Ali is going to try to correct that, no doubt. But I'm sure he's going to have a word with Williams as if to tell him, yeah, what no part now? Try and do run me out. Yeah? <laughs> uh, you know, because that, that had to be the, the, the uh, how should I say? The most depressing out to get in cricket is a run out. And to get a run out without facing yeah. a ball. <laughs> yeah, without facing you a know. ball. Yeah, the a person sitting next to me, that's Kadir Mohammed. <laughs> told me he has who, in, who invented the run out? Yeah, he's gotten out without scoring, <laughs> without facing a ball, 106 <laughs> times. <laughs> that might be some kind of record. <laughs> And there he goes, Williams. No, this is the other side to this. Because of that dismissal, it's probably on his mind that he now has to do something. But the funny thing is, he might very well just throw the bat and get out himself. You know, as opposed to staying there now and say, look, I have to bat for two people now. And try to put on as many runs as possible. He just threw the bat at that last delivery. Luckily, he didn't get a touch. 
because you could easily have just gone straight up in there. A couple of spectators turning up. There he goes. This one goes high in the air. It's going a long way. The, the two men chasing it. <laughs> Neither one seemed to know where to find it. And that's oh. good work. Or did it go over the boundary? He might have pulled it back, but I don't think he did. That's going to be four runs. Yeah, this one was well pitched up. Not a well-timed shot there from uh, Williams. And uh, good effort in the end there, but still not able to pull it in. And you can clearly see the ball behind the rope. So that's four runs to Williams. Yeah, it was a, 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 a diving effort there, all in vain though, at, at the end of the day. But that's the kind of effort as a bowler, that is what you want to see from your fieldsman. And Racha not comfortable that with that one. That looked to have been Al Small, who would have executed that fielding effort. Yes, yeah, certainly it is. Uh, what a lovely day for a game of cricket, especially a T10 game, which is so fast-paced. Everything is happening, and it's all happening under the gaze of the president of the Trinidad Tobago Cricket Board. There he goes, that's a pull shot, but again, he hits it straight to the man at mid-wicket, and he can't get a run out of it. But that was a good swing, a good attempt at another boundary. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. He ended the over, four for one. And I think they would take that any day. Four runs coming off that first over one wicket. I think the skipper of the Southeast team, that's Mr. Dogan, Sheldon Dogan, would be very happy with that start. And funny enough, it's going to be two of the youngsters, Caribbean Airlines. And those flags just fluttering in the breeze there. Is it Sion Charles who's going to pick up? The attack from yep. the bottom end. You see, there's a nice breeze blowing across the ground. And uh, it always helps because it's so hot. And would you guys believe this morning at about 5, I was leaving home to go to my office, and uh, there were, it was raining. I mean, heavy rain. And look at the weather now. It didn't look like rain fell anywhere near here. <laughs> Lots of bushfires <laughs> around as well, Ruskin. Yes. Just all left. Yeah. Yeah. So it just tells you, you know, what happened. But uh, I mean, we, we're not as bad as, say, a country like the United States because you can have bushfires in California, snow in Boston, you know, you have a heat wave in Texas. <laughs> it just have a hurricane in Florida. <laughs> This one is edging, but it's in the air, and uh, it's going to fall safely. Might actually run away for a boundary, it does. That's four more. Yeah, that's wide outside the off stump from Charles. It was a fortuitous boundary, though, from Ali. He was slashing at it, and the ball just seemed to have gotten away from Weber and the skipper Dugan. Visham, all the scoreboard says is four runs. Four runs? Does it say it came off the edge, it bonks <laughs> twice, it bonks three times. <laughs> <laughs> All Ali is interested four in runs. is four runs. <laughs> and in a T10 game, even more so. You know, so he's probably going to say, boy, open the face on that one. You know. As they normally say, when you're going, go hard. Yeah, yeah. there's room in the air. And just like that, the third man feel is sent back on the boundary. There's two men out, one at backward point or on the boundary. And that's a wide. He's going to have to do that one again. So nine for one now. No Caribbean Airlines plane ar planes around at the moment, but the Caribbean Airlines drone is up and running yep. there, Ruskin. I don't know if I could book a seat on that one, but I will watch it fly. I think all we can do is just look at it. It goes again. That's another big hit. It's gone. Bunks in towards that deep mid wicket. There's a race after it. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh. And uh, did he pull that one back? He might just have. But there's also the, the contention that he might have just take it, taken it off the ropes. Let's see how it goes. Very close indeed. One, two, three. Ew, that's very good indeed. He just pulled it back just before it hit the ropes. As ever so bubbly, Raul Ali <laughs> making that stop. And it was a good chase as well. Saved a run. Yeah, definitely. 
12 now for one. And uh, Williams, the tall of the two. Big, powerful man. With a green helmet. Kenroy Williams of Jamaica. Sancho is not having the best of starts here. He's been serving up a mixed bag. Only two deliveries. One wide outside the off stump, then one down the leg side. Maybe overcompensating a bit. Looking to straighten up that line. Short ball. He's trying to pull it. Didn't come up as much because Charles is not the tallest of bowlers. And so the bunks uh, probably wasn't as expected from Williams. Uh, but there's one man behind there. So Charles is flirting with danger if he's going to bowl short uh, onto the pads. What Charles can do is he can skid those deliveries on quickly onto you. And he's bowled him right up in the block hole. He went right across it and I was beaten all ends up. And then look at how the hardware is disturbed behind him. And uh, the prettiest sight in cricket, if you're a fast bowler, if you're a batsman, is probably the most embarrassing. A wonderful delivery there from Charles. Well pitched up, straight delivery. You miss, I hit. And, well, Kenroy Williams missed and Charles hit, certainly. So that's the end of Williams. That's a big blow, though. Kenroy Williams out of Jamaica uh, having to depart. Two so wickets down already, Ruskin. Uh, introducing our new welcome home <laughs> boarding passes. Collect them all in 2024. I wonder if one of them is for the drone. Well, who knows? We'll see. 12 for 2 it is. And that was a, a, a big blue. And uh, so that would conclude. Uh, is the over completed? But Williams, though, has to come back, and I'm sure he won't be too happy with that. Yeah, definitely in the final as well. He don't want to make his presence felt, Ruskin. I see that we have one delivery left in the over. So, actually, there was a wide included in there, so we might get a couple more. There's two deliveries remaining in the over. The new batsman, Kendall Guerra. This is a big opportunity for somebody like Guerra. He too is a very tall man, but a lot of these players come with big reputations in their, in their villages or in their home. Um, you know, they, 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 are, they are among the standout players um, on their street. And that one kept a bit low. They're going to have to hurry here. And if he had picked it up, that could have been very interesting there. Charles got onto it quickly. He just couldn't hold on. Yeah, rushing here or there immediately. A good single taken in the end. And uh, good backing up there from Richard Ali to Guerra. So Guerra off and running very early in his innings. And in a T10 format, in the T10 format, that is, you don't have much time to settle yeah, skin. You, you can't play yourself in. <laughs> you, uh, uh, you, know, you can play yourself in by hitting boundaries. <laughs> when, you're, when you're really set, then you hit sixes. I think that's the mindset players have when they play T10 cricket. Well, some guys start with the sixes. Well, you, you could. <laughs> <laughs> like Puran and company, they, they seem to want to hit sixes. That, that's the way they get their eyes in. As again, another one that kept a little bit lower than anticipated, but uh, the line again is not the best, and that is going to be a leg by. Yeah, just coming off the tie pad, they seem to have took the tie pad on the way through to Brian Pingus, the wicket keeper. So that ends the over. It's 14 for 2 at the end of over number 2. Yes, yeah, so a good first couple of overs here for Southeast. And a wicket coming in each of those two overs from the youngsters, Charles and Racha. Uh, so some of the cricket lovers, good day to come out and enjoy a little bit of cricket action. It's Easter Sunday. And uh, I'm not sure how the 
IPL games went, but they might have seen those two games and coming to see some real cricket now. Happy Easter to one and all. Caribbean Airlines here, duty free offerings. Weber is going to come into the attack. Jevon Weber, number seven. So, first sign of spin. from uh, the southeast unit this would be a, a, an indication really give you a, an indication of how the wicket is likely to play the rest of the way and uh, we'll see if he can get any kind of purchase off the wicket or if Ali will be able to get under him because Ali seems like he's more than prepared to have a go and uh, a short one trying to pull it misses. In fact, he played a little too early. And uh, he was almost three quarters of the way through the shot uh, before the ball actually got there. And now he wants no impediments. He's removing the helmet. He's removed everything. He's removed his hair and yes, the helmet to, as to, well. To showcase, <laughs> to showcase a nice shine. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't even want a cap. <laughs> he said, look, I want to be as light, as aerodynamic as possible. <laughs> He's edging, and it's going to get a boundary. As it passes the man, a third man. Now, here's the irony about that. He was on the boundary yep. just before that delivery. They brought him in to the, just inside the edge of the circle. And would you believe it, the ball just tickled past him and uh, goes to the boundary for four. Well, not to be too harsh on the young man, I still thought that he could have dove across to his left and at least attempt to stop it, but he ran, he ran around the ball. That was Charles. Yeah, Cyan Charles. So Ali continues to rotate along here. He's gone again and... Uh, Wants a second one, but it's not there. He's thinking about it. He almost overcommitted. He was going to take one on the bowler's arm. Luckily, uh, Guerra decided against it and sent him back. Yeah, there are four fielders outside the inner ring. That's a deep backward square leg, a deep mid wicket. A long on and a sweep on the offside. Actually, a long off as well. So five fielders outside that inner circle. The field is well spread. He's a big, strong fella. And uh, this is going to be a, a bit of a challenge. Now, does he go with the tide or does he go against the spin? And uh, they're going to sprint through to a quick single. They're going to have to hurry. And uh, he does get in there. The return was a, a little bit of an awkward one because it bounced a couple of times before actually shooting to the keeper. Um, luckily, it didn't go past him. And uh, Dugan flying coming in. And uh, here they go again. This time there could be a run out at the, wicket, at the bowler's end. Just not quick enough. And a uh, lot of indecision in yeah, terms not, of the running. I'm not too sure where Guerra was going on that occasion. Ball was shocked straight to Dugan, who just flew in a fiery throw there. And luckily, Guerra's back home in time. This time he's going aerial. There's a man out there. Can he get around to it? No. Whoa. There's no way he was going to get that. The ball <laughs> bounced and just took off. And it went high over his head. He didn't have a prayer of cutting that one off. He made good ground. Uh, but then the ball took that awkward hop and just went straight over his head. You look at it again. He never had a chance of pulling that down. He needed to be Joel Garner on top of Kirtley Ambrose to have a chance. <laughs> Yeah, very innocuous bones there as the third over comes to an end. 24 for two. And I think Javon Weber as a spinner, you know, one of the sins you commit is dropping too short, Ruskin. Yeah, he, most of his deliveries were short. Uh, because if you notice, almost all the shots, the batsmen were either playing off the back foot or, and, and a couple of them, they were pulling to the yep. onside. 
I think four of the deliveries uh, they were pulling to the onside, and the other two, uh, one almost resulted in the run out, and then they took a quick single off another one. But outside of that, everything else kind of went uh, towards the leg, other than, of course, the first one that peeled off the edge and came down to third man for a boundary. So Caribbean duty-free shopping. You can get your fragrances, you can get your chocolates, you can get uh, alcohol, I suppose. Yep. Everything at uh, fantastically reduced prices. Uh, the benefits of shopping duty-free. So it's going to be Charles to continue. And now they've decided that they're going to send the middle off and the middle one back to long off and long on respectively. So there's a deep mid wicket and a deep point as well as a third man. Short ball pulled away. Good stop. A nice dive in effort. And uh, limiting them to just the one run. Is that Al Small doing the honors there? But a fine stop. It was well struck on, all along the ground. I don't think you have gotten a boundary because there is a deep mid wicket installed. It seems to be Keaton Mahaber. Yep. Another short ball. Pulled away. That's four runs. Again, you're flirting with danger because you have one man behind the wicket on the onside and uh, you don't want to be bowling short there where the batsman could just free his arms. Even if he doesn't make good contact, the likelihood of him getting a boundary is so much greater. Yeah, and this old feeler as well. Once it gets past the feeler in the inner ring, it just races away. And that we saw there. 29 for two now. We're in the fourth over. So they're making good progress, making up a bit here, getting up to speed. Here he goes again, this time through the offside. And uh, there is a man out there. They're going to take on the arm this time. And uh, they make it safely as well. So good, good, good running between the wickets. Yeah, so Richard Ali looking to take on Charles in this over. And he showed that intent in the last over against Weber. The you recognize that Ali called for the hat? Yeah, the brim uh, hat. Yeah, I think when the, when the sun hit the ball <laughs> head, he decided <laughs> joke is joke. They go again. And they'll get it this time. Yeah, I think when he realized that sun is not normal sun. Well, I'm just wondering if the umpire told him about the ball head. <laughs> it was just dazzling the, the eyes of the bowler. <laughs> or even the umpire. <laughs> But he's doing a good job for his team so far. Ali's on 23. Here's another delivery try. Oh. And he's clipped the top of the stump and he's gone. He just hit the top of off stump. And that is the end of Guerra. Uh, ball here by Charles. And uh, certainly trying to, to make a big hit. But he goes for three. It's 32 for three now. Yeah, really nothing shot there from... Uh, Kendall Guerra, who was in no position to play that one, giving himself too much room in the end, and, and that proved to be his demise. But another wicket to San Charles, and this is proving to be a good spell. It is. He's, he's done more or less what the captain would have asked him to do, and uh, to keep it as tight as possible, because this man on your picture there, Richard Ali, is threatening to hit everything that he faces, and uh, uh, so you have to be spot on as much as possible. And the captain makes his way to the wicket now, Keon Isaac. Keon Isaac, skipper of the North team, and they're on the back foot at the moment, 32 for three. I think he had a good knock yesterday, so they're hoping that he could continue in that vein. The wicket doesn't seem to be playing badly, though. Actually, I, I think, if, if anything, might be keeping just a little bit low. But other than that, it, it's not uh, a, a wicket that a batsman could complain about. Right up in the block hole, and uh, he does it again. He does the business once more, and that is a beauty. This one is even better than the first one, and uh, he's going right through the gate. 
and might have just brushed the boot on the way through, but it also took the leg stump, and that is that. It's now 32 for four. Well, that could only be that. That was an absolute corker of a Yorker there from uh, San Charles, and at his pace as well, it's going to be very difficult. And certainly, Caribbean Airlines are enjoying the tournament. We're enjoying the finals. Southeast, they're on top at the moment. And just like the Caribbean Airlines aircrafts when they're in the air, always on top of their game. And this, of course, is the Caribbean Village T10 Cricket Tournament 2024, put on by Caribbean Airlines. And uh, this is the final part of the Caribbean culture. And as you say, village cricket. And, uh, but right now, there's only one village smiling at the moment. And uh, that's a guy from South East. And now when you say South East, you're incorporating what? Mayaro? Yeah, Mayaro. Rio Claro? Beach as well. Beach. Princess Town. Maruga. That's a big, wide area. Yep. And uh, you consider what? The Jan brothers came from that Mayaro, Manzanella yep. area. Yep. And uh, one or two others from the Deep South, the Southeast region. Evan Lewis, Shannon Gabriel. Yep. Visham Lalman coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and for the, the new batsman is, of course, uh, Mr. Fornelia Quisi. Uh, so, McCain Smith is the new bowler. What I've noticed in the Southeast setup as well, now I'm seeing some of the Southeast zonal coaches uh, taking part in the action. I've seen Angad Ramdaya who have been running out with the water. But it just shows you how much interest, uh, it, because they would have coached, if not all of these players, some of them anyway. And here he goes again. This could be out if he gets around to it, and he takes it. Well, well, well. They're just falling like dominoes here now. And uh, that is the main man, Richard Ali. He couldn't resist the first delivery tossed up there right in the slot. He went for it. Uh, didn't make the kind of contact that he wanted. And a good catch taken, a running catch yeah. taken. And he has to go for 23. Yeah, easy as you like there from Javon Weber. And it could very well be the brim hat. It really looked as though Ali didn't want to have anything to do with the helmet and the hats. And he has to go. But a well-played knock of 23 nonetheless. Yeah, what it does though, look at it. 32 for 5. They haven't scored a run, but they've lost three wickets at that score. But to be fair, Ruskin, that 23 that uh, Richard Ali scored, it could have looked a bit more valuable uh, had the other batsmen atop assisted him. Stuck around and do yep. something. I think the big one would have been um, as Akil Timothy makes his way to the wicket, the, the big one would have, would have had to have been that of the skipper, Keon Isaac. Because they were looking to Isaac to give them something. It just didn't. Uh, he actually only faced one delivery. And you know, that's a golden duck. Yeah, certainly. And Akil Timothy, the new batsman, no stranger to the shorter version of the game. Hits the ball a long way and he needs to do so. And uh, immediately he is off and running. Well, don't really need to hit the ball a long way, but you just need to get some runs there for the North team. Yeah, they have to be smart now and, and, and try to, to bat for the team. Um, if, you, if, you, if you look at it this way, you say, okay, Let's stop the bleeding in terms of wickets. So maybe we will try to just take singles. If we get a bad ball, okay, we'll put that away. But we probably try to take as many singles as possible. We don't want to lose too many wickets and expose your tail too soon. Here's a short ball. Having said that, this could be an post. Well, well, well. It would have been a great catch had he been able to hold on to it, but it burst right through his grasp there, and it went for six. It was hit hard. It was hit low, and it was traveling. But what an attempt had a catch there. He just got his hands up. Luckily for him, it wasn't at the height that it could 
uh, that it was it was like head height, else it, it would have been problems for him. But it went for six as well. Yeah, one of the flatter sixes you'll mm -hmm. ever see, Erskine. But well, it was struck hard. And Nikos Ranchkumar, who's at a deep mid-wicket fence, uh, couldn't get his hands to it. But it's a good effort, as you said. Yeah, because uh, it, 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 it traveled. It was traveling, man. He was traveling, too, trying to get there. I was hoping it would have stuck in his hands. Yeah. If he had gotten a touch or he had gotten a hold of it, it would have been the catch of the season had he been able to take that one. Because that would have been a fantastic catch indeed. Remember, it's the Caribbean Village Cricket Tournament. I think he got a hand to it, you know, and it, it might have just touched the webbing on his finger or something uh, because he's coming off. And so he's probably coming to get some attention. And uh, it just tells you how much that ball was traveling. It actually burst through his hands and it still went for six. Yeah, definitely. That could have easily been a casualty there for the Southeast team. Yeah, he's but it, it seems to be off the field, yes. And yeah, Mr. Angar Ramdeya seems to be coming on. Angar Ramdeya would have served as the coach of the Southeast on the 15, on the 17, and on the 19 teams in recent times. Very successful. But one would hope that Rajkumar is back on the park soon. So welcome home to the Caribbean Club Lounge, the Easter egg experience or the egg experience. Egg experience, yeah. Ruskin. Zaid, Zaid is looking on because he wants to Have an feel experience. what that experience is like. <laughs> well, they're having an experience. Yep. <laughs> Here he goes again. This one is Edge that bunks him down to third man. And uh, they should get a couple. <laughs> and uh, they eventually get the, the two runs. Talk about getting everything behind the ball. He got every inch of his body behind that one and prevented it from going past him. Well, immediately when he's come onto the field, he has some work to do. Yep. Right there, around there. Well, that's why you're out there. Fans just keep coming into the National Cricket Center here in Balmain. Again, trying to cut that one. Got a little room there, but the ball was coming back at him. It ended up crowding him. And uh, he missed it completely. A bit too close for comfort. Uh, speaking about fans, um, it just seems they're coming to support their village teams. Uh, th this is the irony of cricket. Uh, you know, there are more people in here than we've seen for some of our national 40 games. Here's another one straight down. Oh, he dropped it. He took a long while to get down there. He was waiting for it to come down to him. I don't think he really judged the, the height of the ball properly. So he kind of stood his ground. And when it got there, it was dying on him. He then had to go down to get it. And uh, it slipped out of his grasp. They were able to pick up a couple. So that completes the over. And uh, at the end of it, it's 41 for 5 at the end of over number 5. Beautiful 43 weather. for 5, rather. Beautiful weather for cricket. The sun is out in all its glory. The bushfires are around as well. And uh, excellent conditions out there in the middle. The pitch looks to be a good one. And... Uh, the outfield is spectacular as per normal here at the National Cricket Centre. Well, as it relates to the ball running along the outfield. So we're halfway through the innings. And uh, so far, so good for Southeast. They're doing the business. June just flying past Ruskin's left ear. As we witness the Caribbean Airlines yep. drone. <laughs> and Javon Weber is coming on to the attack into the attack now. Well, actually, you know he's coming back to bowl his second over. He's bowling from the southern end on this occasion. And that's a good shot. That could have that could be a good chase there. 
And uh, you did very well indeed. Excellent work uh, once more. That was traveling, and uh, he had to get across to it, and he did that in some style in the end. Uh, probably have a, a little bruise to show for it. Yeah, the old feet is very hard. Yep. I can tell you that. And uh, that was struck very hard as well there from Fonilia. A little bit of a false start there. So the game really now, it's right there in the balance. Can not salvage something here. Pulled away. But only a single is going to have to hurry. Just making it there. What a fantastic uh, bit of cricket there. The ball was struck straight to the man at that straightish mid-wicket. And he picked up cleanly. Had a shy. And just bounced and bounced over the stump. Had that hit directly, it might have been curtains. But he survives 45 for 5 now. Win over number 6. Weber again uh, giving a little bit of room. That's going to be a big chase down there. Fine effort, but not good enough. In fact, he pushed it over the ropes, and that's four runs. A big effort from Al Small. Have a look at it again. He's been having a lot of work to do, diving away to his left, but he was far away from it there, Ruskin. Yeah, I thought he got a touch, but he didn't. It actually jumped over his body and uh, it went for four. But again, I, I can't understand why Javon Weber is bowling this short. All of his nine deliveries has been half trials. Yes, he's been... He, I know you want to put the ball in the wicket, but you, you don't want to bowl that short at, at that pace or lack of pace as he is uh, doing at the moment. And uh, so he's really asking the batsmen to apply the power, and they're doing just that. They're finding uh, that he's not bowling the length that will allow them to come onto the front foot and maybe go with the full swing of the bat. So they're making sort of horizontal bat shots and they're having good success with it. Here he goes again. This one kept a little bit low. And for nearly having to go low down, or rather, Timothy having to go low down to try to reach that one. Once again, he's on the back foot. So it's a, a recurring theme with him, but so far so good. 50 is on the board for the North team. I'm sure they'd like to double that up, but they're going to need a couple of big overs and uh, that's another brilliant shot that's going to be some work there but that's excellent cricket can't stop the second run however uh, but fine cricket in the outfield once again Caribbean layaway plan now and pay later Ruskin zero percent interest payment flexible payment plans and minimum deposit required any destination where caribbean airlines uh, travels or flies to and of course there's a little bit of cloud cover right now so these spectators will be happy it's not as blistery hot however snow cone looks like it's very much in vogue out there? Yeah, it looks to be the top selling uh, refreshment out there, Oskin. Uh, with good reason. Big ice. And snooking is one of those things that has a, a, a different name almost in every island <laughs> you go to. You know, there's another short ball that is carved away, and that's four more. Probably not the direction in <laughs> which he intended to hit it, but they all count right now. Well, that's the power of the man, Achil Timothy. Once he gets it past that inner ring and in the gap, he is going to get them to the boundary. He's a powerful man, Achil Timothy. Really, again, the delivery is a little bit too short. Too much swing in room. A 
Akil Timothy, big man. Smith continues, short ball, but again on the back foot he goes and probably tried to overhit that one. He was really winding up uh, to give that the full treatment. Ended up hitting it hard into the ground. Yeah, so he's hitting the deck hard here, Mickey and Smith. Um, he has developed those the shorter approach. A couple of guys looking for a closer view just behind the signboards. Just beyond long on at the moment. Their lives could be in danger there the way these guys are swinging the bat. And nice bunks out there to so limit them to just the one run. So they're inching up here now, but I'm sure they would want to really finish on a high here, finish on a counter with some big overs uh, the rest of the way. We're in over number seven at the moment. It's 58 for five. And a slower delivery. Um, although it was like a half volley, but because the batsman is swinging towards leg, nowhere in position. Yeah, you can see him through the shot too early, mm -hmm. Timothy. I'm not too sure why he wanted to hit that one, though. <laughs> Once he makes contact, wherever it goes, it goes. Once it goes. And there he is again, carving this one away. But there's a cover out there this time. They're going to have to hurry for the second run. He's struggling to get back. Just makes it in time. And uh, the return was a good one, but it was coming from so far out in the deep uh, that the batsman had ample time. To complete the second. Again, too short and giving Timothy enough room to access those gaps on the offside. And luckily, there's protection out there for Smith. Fans looking on eagerly. I wonder who they're supporting. They look like neutral fans. Here's another one that is played off the back foot yet again. And uh, a single resulting in it. So that completes the over 61 for five now at the end of over number seven. Three wickets for San Charles. They're on the 17 Southeast zone cricketer. Three for 17 and two overs. One wicket to Racha. There's a couple of the fans who have tuned up. Out in their numbers today, I'm very surprised at the amount of persons we are seeing here at the Caribbean Airlines Village Cricket. Kudos to Caribbean Airlines. What, for do, what are you saying that Caribbean Airlines flew them in? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, certainly some good marketing as well went into the tournament. And it's the first of its kind as well. So it's good to see the support of the fans. So right now, the game is really nicely poised here. If Southeast could wrap up this tail, they would feel very confident if they have to chase anywhere, anything under 75 or thereabouts. Uh, but if they were to go much beyond that, it could make for a different scenario. Racha is going to come and finish his spell with his second over. Well, it looks as though this is going to be a power play over us. Mm -hmm. So they really want him to try and break the back of this little resistance here. Timothy is 14. Uh, Fonelia is 15. So they are trying their best here now to stitch something together. Well, you know it's really village cricket as we see a wide. You know it's really village cricket when you see the batsman facing the seamer without a helmet. Yep. <laughs> I remember I was, who I was speaking to recently was, was Raja talking about when they first started to bring helmets. He couldn't get a helmet to fit him. <laughs> and that, that was one of the problems. So, so yeah. when he got one, it, it, it would be like falling off his head. So as he says, it's dangerous because you can't see the ball sometimes. And if it shifts at all, you're in trouble. And this goes aerial. That's a big hit over the inner ring. It goes one, two, three bounces into the boundary. The widest long off. And that's four crucial runs at this stage not in total control but again getting just reward uh, 
for his intent and Mahabharata running away towards it but he couldn't win the race. Timothy again getting back to ball. He goes to 18 off 10. So he's uh, doing a pretty good job here for his team. Has his hands on his hips waiting. I want to believe he's blowing there. He's probably a little tired, a little winded. And uh, But this is it. He has to go now. So he's looking at the field. There are just the two men out. So this is what he's trying to take advantage of. Down the wicket he comes. That's a glorious shot. That's four runs from the moment it left the bat. And uh, you couldn't resist that one. Yeah, that's a shot of the day. Deserves another look or a couple more looks. Look at that. Check the pose. Posing for the cameras. <laughs> really a good shot indeed. That's an excellent shot. And uh, here he goes with that pose again. Hands akimbo. And with his legs crossed, leaning on the bat. AKA Viv Richards. Deep breaths as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they couldn't. Yeah, I think if you pass by him and you, if you way he's blowing, if you pass a dollar for him, you ask if you want salt or fresh. And he's bowled him all, and it's a no ball. Well, well, well. Racha is very upset. Couldn't believe that he did that to himself. Here he goes. Well, the umpire did start to call the no ball, so he would have made the call and then started to bring the arm up by the time the ball hit the stumps. So no debating whether it came after he struck the stumps. Uh, the call was made even before uh, the ball actually hit the wicket. So he survives. Now look at it again. Watch out where the umpire's hand is. Yeah, no by the ball. time the ball reach the bat reaches the batsman, the hand is already going up. Let's do it again this time. <laughs> he, he's really, so they're going to go for a second round. They're going to have to hurry. It's a long chase. In fact, he chose the wicket keepers end when the, the bowlers end might have been a shorter distance. And, but they got two anyway. Well, I think they were targeting the Akil Timothy. Hence the true going to the wicket keepers end. Did he get a touch onto that? He might have gotten a hand hit. It looks so. Yep, because that was traveling. That's the kind of thing takes a finger with it when it's going through. Racha again is... Uh, right now, if he was in the home village, they'll say he's hiding the ball, umps. <laughs> 17 runs from his 1.3 overs. And there's four coming off the first, so 13 runs already in three balls there, Ruskin. It's a, it's a fairly expensive over. And he was saying up to 75. Yep, but they, they reached that now almost. <laughs> And uh, they will reach that and more. So they could probably, they're, they're probably thinking here now, this is the eight over. We have two overs after this. If they could get uh, maybe another 30 runs, uh, I'm thinking they'll be happy. They'll get past the 100. Racha, a little bit slower. And this could be a run out here. If he is out, he's out. He sh this should be out. And he is. He just went a little too far. Couldn't get back. And an excellent, excellent return. Pick up and return. Don't trust the hands of Brendan Buru. One of the safest youngsters in the game, Brendan Buru. And good pick up and good execution of the direct hit as well. So Fornelia has to go for 15. And it's 74 now for the loss of six. Kashma Mitchell looks to be the man coming out. Yes, so they're losing wickets along the way, which is what you don't want because that's a dot ball. Of course, as Caribbean Airlines introducing, it's our new welcome home boarding passes. Collect them all in 2024. Well, Richard Ali, uh, uh, sorry, Fornelia. That's Quesi Fornelia. He would have booked his boarding pass, but back to the dugout, Ruskin. Yep. He collected his very early. Immediately, Dylan Sharma has revealed his boarding pass as well in the commentary box. Yep. It's ready to go. Seat number and all. 
seat number 15D. <laughs> right next to the window. <laughs> But that's another great shot, but that one hit the stumps. That probably denied him at least a second run because that was traveling. And uh, he knocked the middle stump, the leg stump clean out of the ground and uh, just had to settle for a single. But all sorts of things happening in this over. The stumps has been struck on three different ways that it can be. <laughs> so, so Racha. Trying to finish off this over here now, 75 for six. After the first three deliveries, he looked to be in serious trouble there. Uh, but they've pulled things back here quite nicely. They've got no wicket and just the one additional run. And he's bowled him. Well, 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 no, no ball this occasion. And that is the end of Mitchell. Bowled neck and crop. The middle stump clean out of the ground. And Racha right on target there. And look at where that left foot is. Nothing like that in the, in the batsman's manual. And uh, he goes 75 for seven. He goes without scoring. Yeah. Excellent delivery there from Racha. And getting his wicket in the final delivery uh, of his spell as well. So he finishes his spell one for 18 in two of us seems to be some prizes being given away around the venue as well caribbean airlines you know a couple of persons in the last two days of the cricket would have won themselves a trip to any caribbean destination of their choice courtesy caribbean airlines and of course they would have earned that by taking a catch yep. skin, something you you can do very easily well you, well the problem is with glass and thing in front of us here, I, I don't have a ghost of a chance of catching one. And uh, I've always said, <laughs> I've always said, I wonder if someday, I'm, if I'm just walking around the ground, if somebody was to hit the ball and it would come close to me if I, if I remember how to take a catch. <laughs> I've, I've been to like baseball games, but they wouldn't hit the ball close to me at all. And I've all I've positioned myself where I felt I, I was in the business. Eh? Uh, Barry Bonds hit the ball straight over everybody out in the sea. <laughs> out in the river. You know. So Rajkumar is the, the new bowler. Nikos Raga Rajkumar. Genuine medium pacer. a good start yep keeping it away from the batsman he was trying to pull away to the onside and then realized that the ball was going in the other direction so timothy would be looking to get the ball away get the ball flying like the caribbean airlines aircrafts this time he's gone that two is a, uh, in the air for a long while but it's going to drop well short of the man at long on so he won't get a a, a a boundary but he'll take the single and that brings the new batsman pretty mali on strike left hander but they need to get a move on here the what how many deliveries already two in this over just the one run it's 10 deliveries remaining yep. so they really need to, to Get a few big hits here. Now this is a big ground, so um, sixes might be. While you could hit it, the ropes are fairly about a, about four meters, five meters in, and uh, so if you have good contact, you might get maximum for it. But you also have to run well uh, between the wickets if you can't get boundaries. But uh, Ali did his thing, which is to get the big fella back on strike. Yeah, but this is proving to be a good over thus far from Rajkumar. Two runs. 
and uh, that's peeling off the edge and uh, he's just going to get the one run again good fielding good anticipation that that short third man position and uh, just the one run i think the southeast will take that any day especially at this time of the innings yeah, i think this is a very important over in the context of the game as well because north was just getting back into it looking to finish strongly McCain Smith, the man doing the field in there. Here they go again. This is going to be another single. And uh, just struck the batsman. And uh, I think he, he, he realized that the ball struck him. He really wasn't trying to obstruct play or anything of the nature. And in the spirit of the game, he put his hand up to indicate, you know, kind of like was his fault. He just didn't bother to want to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why, because that one has gone a long way and they've taken the catch. Well, 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 he was liking himself there because he got good contact. Unfortunately, it couldn't clear the ropes. And that is the end of the, the big fella, Akil Timothy, going for the almighty, seemed to get good contact. And then a well-judged catch out in the deep. Yeah, making that look very easy there, Adrian Racha. And he's having a good day. And uh, just like Nikos Rajkumar. So one over to him in the innings. And just four runs and a wicked Ruskin. And a vital over as well. Yes, and it's coming at a critical time. As we see Caribbean Airlines duty-free action. And a happy Easter to one and all. And uh, remember you can... Purchase any number of items duty free. So the new batsman is Burke, Adrian Burke. So they they've lost their way here somewhat. Seventy nine for eight now. So small is going to try and conclude proceedings here. A big effort is needed from a small man. How small? 79 for 8 Roskin. Don't think they can get up to 100 from here. <laughs> it would have to be a, a huge over. He's gone. That's a big hit. That's gone for six. That's a wonderful hit. He just got into position there and just helped it over in that cow corner position there and uh, says thank you very much. Well, welcome and happy Easter, says Pradi Malital Small. And how's that experience for you? Six runs. Well, this is not a Caribbean Airlines aircraft, but it's certainly an aircraft making its way around the venue. Yeah, keep it, keep it in the theme of keep flying. It. This one is outside the legs. So, seven runs, one ball. So they're up to 86 now, so who knows? They might still get the triple figures. If Ali can... Connect on a couple more big ones. Here he goes again. This time it's in the air. The man at long one is coming in, settling under it, and he takes the catch. Very well judged indeed. He came in, probably almost overran it, but he really kept his balance very well and completed the catch. Yes, yeah, so a small striking here. Revenge earned there by our small Keaton Marber taking a simple catch in the end. Eighty six now for the loss of eight looks to be 
book. Actually, it's Chitram Ramlal. Ramlal is making his way out, yep. Chitram. Ramlal with two L's at the end, one in the middle. So Burke and Ramlal to try to salvage something here, maybe get it up to 90 if they can. Make it look a little more respectable. Although you have to say 86, as we say in cricket, is runs on the board. You still have to make those runs. Well, I think one of the players from Southeast, that Silas Cooper in the said tournament, would have struck 82 uh, of 22 deliveries in one of their matches. He would have knocked off the majority of this already. Pull that one. That's a good shot. That's in the gap. They should get two here. And uh, they're back quickly for two. So that's good running. Excellent work uh, once again. Just touching down Ramlal, getting good contact, getting it into the gap at mid-wicket. Chetram of the mark with two. 88 for nine. Trying to repeat it. Again, not using the offside, wanting to play the ball through the onside, even though the ball is outside the off thumb. Typical swipe over oh, there. Agricultural. <laughs> so we're getting to the closing stages here of this innings. Small. And again, that's good, a good take. This could be a run out. And well, well, well. <laughs> well <laughs> know, who is out? Run out. <laughs> the same batsman. At, this, at the wicket keeper's end, got back into his crease. Watch what I did here. He got back in to deny him the run out at that end. But then he got stuck there. The other batsman stayed there. So the same man who is running now is the man who is run out. Would you believe that? It doesn't matter because the innings has come to an end. Uh, when it's all said and done, it's 88 all out. 88 all out. And an excellent bowling effort comes to an end from the... Southeast unit led solely by uh, San Charles, 3 for 17 in his two, and of course, one wicket to Racha and one to Nikus Rajkumar. So, the, to the target that will be set here for Southeast will be 89. So, 89 to win, and uh, 88 all out in nine overs and five deliveries. Uh, again, they, they got, they got the, a, a, a kind of a base, but then they, they got derailed at one stage. And uh, really just have only themselves to blame for getting to 88 all out uh, with one ball left. And uh, certainly uh, Southeast must be uh, happy with how things have progressed so far. Yeah, they will be happy, uh, but again... You can't write off that no team just yet. They have a, a good bowling lineup, and they would consider themselves, and they would think, and they would be very confident to knock over the Southeast unit. So we'll have to wait and see how it pans out in the second inning. Well, certainly it is, because uh, now, if this was win ball cricket, you would say, okay, you know, game over. Uh, in fact, I, I, this is no joke. Eh? I played in a win ball cricket game one time and we got bowled out for 28. Wow. The entire team got bowled out for 28. And this was a game where the, the side bet was $10,000 a side on the, in the pot. So the winner takes all. Right. Apart from winning the trophy, the, yep. what, the, what the competition was. So they, they had this bet going on. These are just supporters against each other. And uh, boy, Tassa, noise. <laughs> I say, well, we're dead in this place. Yeah. We bowled them all for 14. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I had a friend wow. of mine, I had a friend of mine, Chris Gunput. Chris Gunput used to pelt a wind ball. I used to tell him, I said, Chris, 
nobody knows exactly what's going to happen when the ball pitches, yeah. you know, because he used to squeeze the ball. So yeah. when he pelted, it used to like spring, yeah. you know, and everything was just going straight up in the air. So that is the end of this innings here. It's 88 all out. We'll come back with the reply. Remember, this is the Caribbean Airlines Village T10 final. And, uh, of course, Southeast, they now have 89 to win. We'll have their reply when we come back. <laughs> 